Welcome to another PAL World video. Today I'm going to be showing you some really, really cool little glitches, some really handy ones as well, and also the most overpowered PAL in the entire game. He is kind of the most overpowered one. You'd think it's a jet dragon like I've got here, but with this glitch, you can make it the best PAL in the game. Carry on watching to find out who that is, and we'll jump in today with the first glitch, and I think this is a really, really cool one, honestly. If you could leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be much appreciated, and we can make more of these glitch-type videos going forward. So this first glitch today we have is how to capture any of the bosses around the map. So if I go on the map, I mean these ones here, so the ones that are out in the open, not the tower bosses. I've already done a video on that yesterday, if you want to go and have a look I'll leave a link in the description down below but I will capture any of these they cannot be in a dungeon so the ones that are above ground so as an example I am near this Anubis right here he's level 47 I'm gonna build my pal box right here doesn't really matter where but the first thing you want to do is build this and now you need to build a viewing cage as shown on screen here so we build this and obviously when you're moving you can't get into it like this because if I try and run through it, it doesn't work. You don't want to build it, you want to leave it like this. So, and then need to aggro him onto me. So I'm just going to go boop. And he's going to get him towards me and he's going to run towards this right here. So now we are in line with him. Look at this. So we can't get here at all. So what I want to do is throw my jet dragon down in the middle and I'm going to ride him. Sometimes it's quite difficult to get to ride him. There we go. So now I'm in. You can't actually get off him. So what you need to do is go into your party, drop him like that, and it'll drop out the ball. You can pick him back up. And now, as I have my sword, I can just sit here and swipe him and hit him as much as I can. So as you can see, he is now down to 300 HP. I did build it over there, but he kept running away. So I've rebuilt it near his area right here so I can now I think I can actually go and capture him from here the thing you don't have to worry about is now he's got out the ball he will try and go after you but as long as you have enough power spheres you can actually end up cheesing him before he even makes an attack like that he didn't attack me once and it's such a simple way of getting these big bosses and once you're done like this you can just hold to cancel like that and then go back to your pal base and then just cancel that this next glitch here is a really, really cool little glitch in the game. This involves these army camps or these syndicate camps right here. So obviously we've got all of these just aggroed on me. So what we want to do is we want to kill all of them apart from one. So we've just got the one guy left. If you want to farm their goods, so like their, their power spheres that they have, the ammo that they drop, you want to leave one alive. And while he's still here, I now want to return to the title and then reload back in. Okay, now we are back in. I've instantly spawned with all of them aggroed on me. So this is really, really good if you just want to farm all of the resources that they drop. They spawn all back in. If you kill all of them and then try and do this, it won't work because you've completed the camp, if that makes sense. So you just need to leave one and then carry on doing it again. So this next glitch is to show you how to complete any of the dungeons in the entirety of Power World. I've just chosen this of complete random, so I have a dungeon right here. This is how to beat any of the dungeons in the entire game without even having to fight anybody. And I literally mean anybody. So first of all, you need to get one of your flying mounts out. So we want to climb up onto the wall just here. So you need to get one of them out over there, for example. And then we need to climb up the wall about halfway or so. And while you're up here, you go to pet your pal just like on here sometimes it won't work and it will do things like this which is totally fine because you then just try it again and then once it's done it after a little while it should then glitch you outside of the wall just keep petting them like this and it might end up working sometimes say look he's caught in the ceiling at the moment so i should probably bring him back in there we go as you can see I am now outside of the map, so it does work sometimes, it's a little bit glitchy. So what you need to do now is just locate where the final room is. And as you can see, the final boss area always has this tall concrete wall behind it. So what you need to do is go over here and to make sure you know where you are, you can just peek through the wall. So now we just need to do the same method as we did earlier to get back through the walls. 
Oh, there we go. So that's worked. So you can tell it's worked when you can see in front of him and he's gone through there. So you just then jump on him and look at that. We have already defeated the dungeon, get the loot from the chest, and now we can just fully leave and get out the dungeon. Simple as. So I see a lot of debate online asking, what is the best pal in the game? What is the best pal in Power World? Well, if I were to tell you that this guy right here is the best pal in the game, would you believe me? Well, actually, he is, because he really can be with this really, really simple glitch. So what we want to do is we want to have a party of the sweeper and then three of his little swees. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to throw him down. So currently, he is a skill rating of 496 attack and 462 defense. So now what we need to do is go into the party. We need to drop all three of the swees, like so. Drop, drop, and drop. Go to pick the three guys back up, and then we can get back on him. And if we take a look in the party, his attack and defense have gone up. And you can keep doing this as much as you like. So remember, he's now gone up to 627 and 584. Pick all three of them up, and you can go back into our party. And he's at 759, 707. So this thing is nuts because you could just keep going as much, as much as you want. You could go as high as you like. He could end up being more powerful than pretty much any of the pals in the game. He could be better than the Jet Dragon. He is pretty slow, but the fact that you can upgrade his defense like this through a glitch is absolutely crazy. So that just about sums up today's video. If you did enjoy and found any of these glitches helpful or used them for yourself, let me know down in the comments down below and leave this like as well. That would be much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.